What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And it's that time of year. It's time for back to school. I know some of you are upset, but at least we got some cool tech to take a look at. This is the budget edition. I know students are broke, I get it. You gotta get the inexpensive stuff, student life is rough. So here we have the budget edition of back to school tech. So first up, we're gonna talk about the backpack. And this is probably one of the most essential pieces of gear that you need for back to school. And this is by Your Pack. I actually really, really like this bag. It's a pretty big bag with a ridiculous amount of compartments. And it's also got some really cool features, things that we've seen in the past, but uh, this thing does a really good job. And it comes in at only 50 bucks, so it's not gonna break the bank, 50 bucks. Shouldn't be too bad, and if that is too bad, I'll of course link some of my favorites that cost even less than that. But let's take a look at the bag. So here we have it. Now, up front here, now the first thing, we gotta have a microfiber cloth. You got all your tech, it gets dirty, your phone, you put it to your face, your camera smudges and then you take blurry photos. You gotta have a good microfiber cloth. So we gotta have the Spuds microfiber cloth. This is like my favorite of all time gotta have this. So that's a great way to start this video. Next up, we've got a little small flash drive. This is by Kingston. Now I've shown this in the past, but I feel like it hasn't been more relevant than it is today. So this is a, how, how big is this? 64 gig drive. And I think they're all the way up to 250 gigs right now. I'll have it all linked down below in the description. But the reason why I think this is more relevant than ever is the fact that it has a USB-C end as well as a regular USB and USB-A. So that means you can plug this up to any computer and a lot of devices now that have USB-C as the standard. So if you're rocking an Android device, you could plug this right into it, get more storage. And if you have maybe one of those new MacBooks that only use USB Type-C with the Thunderbolt, then you can have that too. So this is a great, great flash drive to store your stuff. It's good quality and super cheap, so you can't beat that. And you guys can already see right here, tons of little pouches in this backpack. Uh, little compartments for all kinds of stuff. I can't possibly use all of the compartments inside of here. Not on a budget anyway. Uh, but let's see what we have in here. Now, these are cables by Anchor. Now, Anchor cables, I feel like, are a bit on the premium side of things when you look on Amazon, but they're pretty good quality. And you can find all the cables that you want for under like 20 bucks. This one is USB-C. It has a regular USB end. And it's a pretty long cable. I believe this one is six feet. So if you need some distance, you wanna charge your phone while having it be plugged into a wall, you got that distance right here. So this is a nice long cable. And there's also a lightning cable as well. I think this is their Powerline Plus Plus. If you compare this to what Apple puts in their boxes, uh, it's night and day. So this is a really high quality cable. And there's also another lightning cable, but this one's a lot shorter. If you have a portable charger uh, that you take around with you, this one will be very nice so that you don't have a long cable dangling in your hand while you have your portable charger and your phone together charging. Next up, let's see, we've got right here a pair of Bluetooth earbuds. So these are the Samsung Level U, I believe. And with these, I found this for 30 something bucks, less than 40 bucks, which is just mind blowing. And they actually sound pretty decent. Now, I'm personally a fan of the neckband design. When you've got these in your ear, you don't have to worry about them falling out. Gravity is not working against you because you have this little neck band here and the cable just goes right into your ears. I think this is a really nice option if you're looking for a pair of Bluetooth earbuds that won't break the bank. And it's got like a little magnet. So whenever you're not using it, these can stick together. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I was walking to school, I always had some music in my ears. Uh, this is a nice way to you know, kill time on the bus or the train, whatever it may be. Uh, but having a nice pair of solid earbuds can't go wrong. So if you don't want to go with a pair of Bluetooth earbuds, maybe you want something a little bit more hardcore, you can go with these guys right here. These are the Audio-Technica ATH-M20X. Now, if you guys have never heard of Audio-Technica before, they make some pretty solid headphones that don't break the bank, have some good sound quality. Um, these are the ATH-M20X that cost 
only $39.99, I believe. Less than 40 bucks for these, and they sound really, really good. Now, the only thing about these is that it has like a really long cable, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but if you guys aren't super thrilled with this idea, I'll have alternatives to what we've got in this little backpack down below in the description. But if you want something that gives you a little bit more sound than a pair of earbuds, then these are definitely a nice way to get that without breaking the bank. So right here, now this backpack has a pretty interesting little feature here where it has these pockets that hold a smartphone. So you can put your smartphone right here and uh, the smartphone that we've got is the Essential Phone. Now I've reviewed this phone in the past and when I first got it, it was 700 bucks. Wasn't impressed enough to think it was worth that. But now this thing only goes for $400. I think you can maybe get it for even less. On Amazon, it's really inexpensive. And at $400, this is a really, really good value. Probably one of the best values that you can find on a smartphone, along with OnePlus. Now you're getting some solid specs, great battery life. It doesn't have a headphone jack, which is a little annoying. So you would have to use the adapter that comes in the box to use something like the M20X. Uh, but it still is a really decent phone, pretty decent camera, uh, a really great screen, and the build quality is just superb. And not to mention, along with the Pixel, it's one of the first phones to get Android P. So you can easily just update this to the latest version of Android, which is really, really nice. Uh, so this is worth looking at if you're looking for an upgrade for the new year, the Essential Phone. $400, check it out. Uh, and there's actually this small, tiny compartment right here. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but this thing is really small. And I didn't know what to use it for, but I found a way. And I think a pair of regular earbuds was the right way to go. So right here, we've got the RHA MA390s. Now, the reason why I like RHA, these are about 40 bucks. Now, at this price, these are probably one of the highest quality pair of earbuds that I've used in the $40 range. RHA has great, great quality stuff. And in terms of sound, these sound great. If you happen to be a fan of bass, I am, uh, you're really gonna enjoy the sound out of this. And you also get a little inline remote where you can play and pause your music. It has a little microphone so that you can speak into it. This is something that I feel could last you the entire year instead of getting a cheap pair of earbuds that will break down on you and you need one in a couple of weeks. Now, a really cool feature in this backpack that you might have seen me talk about in previous videos is a included USB port. Now, you might be wondering why a USB port on a backpack. Well, if you have a portable charger, you can actually connect it to the backpack and we've got one right here. And when you connect it to the backpack, instead of having to carry the portable charger in your hand, you can go ahead and take one of your cables, plug it into the USB port. And once you've got that, you can just plug your phone in and boom, you're charging. So I think this is really cool. Who wants to carry a portable charger in their hand or put it in their pocket? Having it right in your backpack is the best way to go. So it's great that you have the ability to charge your device right from your backpack. I think all backpacks should have this feature now. I think it's really awesome. Now, as for the portable charger that we're using for this, this one is by Jackery. Now this guy right here has a 10,050 milliamp hour battery. So it'll charge your phone at least twice and then some. Uh, but in terms of cables and ports, this thing has a regular USB port so you can plug whatever you need into it. But it does have a built-in micro USB cable as well as a lightning cable. Now the ideal would be a lightning cable and a USB type C cable. But here's the thing, a lot of accessories and devices still use micro USB cables to charge. So if you have something like your, you know, Samsung level use, you can charge them up with this guy. And not to mention, this thing feels really high quality. This is like straight up metal. Uh, these cables don't feel cheap and thin. So these are solid cables on the sides and it's even got a flashlight, right? Yeah, here it is. Now I'm not even sure if you guys noticed, but we went through one compartment with a bunch of little pockets. We got another little compartment here. We went with another compartment here, another compartment here, and we've got another compartment to hold our laptop. It's very safe to say, this thing can carry a lot. Now another nice little feature is that with this, you have these little straps that you can open up and you can zip this down all the way 
So whenever you're going to on a trip, maybe you're taking a flight somewhere, TSA, open it all up, get what you need out, no worries. And this is the laptop compartment, as well as another big mesh pouch. So you can fit whatever you want in here, guys. Be creative. <laughs> but right here we have the laptop inside of a sleeve. This one is by Lacdo, and this is very inexpensive and really, really nice. You can go to school without even having this. Maybe if you're in college or something where you don't need as many books or anything like that, just take your laptop, you can put some papers in the back, and you can have whatever you need stored up front. Pencils, uh, pens, whatever you may be, a mouse. So you can store all those. Oh, it's nice, they have a little pouch right here too. But now for the laptop that we've got inside of here, this is the Acer Aspire E15. Now this is a really solid laptop, only 600 bucks. So it's definitely budget friendly for what it can do. It's got some decent specs and some pretty good build quality. So this is a bit of a larger display too. And I actually really like the display. Usually the displays look really cheap, uh, but this one's a really solid 1080p display with a bunch of great IO. So on the left side, we've got a USB-C port, which is nice. You got your ethernet, you've got your old school uh, VGA jack. You also have HDMI, two USB 3.0 ports, as well as a regular USB on the other side and your headphone jack. And surprisingly, you also get a DVD drive inside of here. Not something I expect to see on a laptop with a USB-C port. I honestly really thought that I got an older device by accident when I purchased this, but if you got DVDs lying around, hey, it doesn't hurt. Uh, but inside of here, you also have an SSD that has eight gigs of RAM and it comes in a few different configurations. So if you want a little bit more power, you can get that. It has Intel's eighth generation processors, which is nice. And it also has a dedicated graphics card. Uh, it's got the GTX MX150. Uh, so it's not a really powerful chip, but if you want to game at some point, maybe not game super seriously, but you're going to be able to game on this as well. So 600 bucks, it's powerful, it's fast. Uh, has good build quality. You can even game on it a bit. It's a really nice all around great device. So I definitely recommend it. But we do have one more thing. Uh, this thing also has a bunch of side compartments. So I've got one over here. Let's pull this guy out. And we got a mouse. This is the Logitech G602. Now some of you might have seen this coming because this is like my favorite mouse of all time. But it's only 30 something bucks, it shifts, but it's under 40 bucks. That's a really, really good price for this mouse. And this is really great if you're a gamer, you've got the macro buttons on the side, or if you're an editor, you can use these for sh different shortcuts that you use. And this thing is super comfortable. I keep recommending it in multiple videos, but that's because it's that good. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Lots of great stuff here, all very inexpensive. I don't think anything here costs more than 50 bucks besides the phone and the uh, laptop, of course. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll have some alternatives if you guys are really still hunting for more stuff. I have a bunch of links down below in the description for things that I think you guys might wanna check out. The baller edition is coming up, so you gotta stay tuned for that. That's where we take all of these and just take it to the next level. Budget's not a problem. But till then, guys, your average consumer, peace.